problem. And our problem is that we're polluting the sound and we need to fix that problem. In Seattle, our sewer pipes are combined with our stormwater pipes, which is great. Most of the time, that water just goes into the sewer pipes, the stormwater and the sewage goes up to our treatment plant um, in Magnolia at the West Point treatment plant, and then gets cleaned and sent out to the sound. But sometimes when it rains a lot, that rainwater can fill up the pipes. We can fix that problem in a way that also addresses all these other issues. So instead of putting in a pipe or a storage tank, we realized that we could put in rain gardens to soak up the rainwater and just keep it from getting into our sewer system in the first place. We got creative. We have 91 roadside rain gardens on 15 blocks in the Sunrise Heights and Westwood neighborhood of West Seattle. Underneath these rain gardens is a civil project, basically a civil engineering project. There's pipes, so it drains down, the water comes down through the plants, it gets cleaned, gets into the pipe, goes down to the southern end of every block, and then we have these deep wells that go anywhere from 40 to 150 feet down and release the water below that hard layer and allow it to soak into the ground. This project is good green infrastructure um, simply by the fact that it manages uh, combined sewers which would normally all be uh, captured and sent to a uh, West Point treatment plant for treatment. Now this water is actually being captured and retained within the areas where um, the stormwater falls. So in other words, we're capturing the water where it falls and leaving it here in this area and actually recharging the groundwater underneath. We spent a lot of time working with the neighbors that were directly adjacent to these 91 rain gardens. The feedback from the community has been pretty positive uh, to date. They were um, hesitant at first when we came in and explained what we were trying to do, but over time people have really grown to love them. It was a lot of effort and work done by our community services staff to kind of get in there and work with the neighborhood so they understood what was going on and then kind of even the location. Um, one of the small things we did is kind of locating paths to walk across, like you see behind me, lined up with people's paths to get to their front door. We're bringing that forest ecosystem back to the streets, but in a way that matches the aesthetic of the neighborhood. In the end, it's been a really great project, and we've really transformed that neighborhood and the look and feel of it. Mm -hmm.